All right, welcome guys back to my channel. Um, today we are going to be taking a special look at my Rebel Fleet. So, all credit is going to be on science in front of these ships, but I'm going to specifically tour you through every ship and kind of explain what its purpose was. So, credit is on the science, which I'll show you in the, for the designs. So. Um, let's start over here with this ship. This is the Hammerhead Corvette, um, at least a version of it. It actually appeared in Rebels, and again, another version of it. The engines were a little different, but the head is pretty much the same. So this design is by Lord Dacker, and of course built by myself. So you can see it has turrets on the sides, turrets on the top. And it had its own episode in Rebels, and there were actually three, a red one, an orange one, and a yellow one, which they had taken. Um, these, there's an X-Wing design by Garrett 2x4, and um, so this is an X-Wing. It's a little design, you can see a few around. This design also is by Garrett 2x4. It's a Y-Wing, so it's also a smaller design, and I like it for that reason, because it goes along with all of the cruisers so let's go on to our next ship um this is a corvette a corellian corvette but you could call this one since it's red a tanted four so this credit also goes the design is by lord dacker and built by myself um so this ship has to be more realistic this would actually be four up here and then three down here and then four down here and said it's five four five because it looks better that way and it's kind of hard to make it look even so that's why the design was like this so as you can see it's a pretty nice design on the top and bottom has a lot of slabs and stairs and i like that design and then here this is a sensor and then over here these are turrets one here and then four at least supposedly three here um and then you can see up here the little villager patrolling it. Another X Wing there. And then, of course, you guys like to see these big ships. This is the Nebulon B frigate. This design's also by Lord Dacker. And then go check them out. And then it's built by myself. So, as you can see, there's some sensor clusters up here. And then sticking through the rest of the ship. And then there's this little bridge thing that goes to the back, which is where the engines are. And where another command tower thingy is. Um, and then also, there's another tower thing down here. Not a tower, but another command bridge. And then, as you can see, I have another one. So, this is the, the purpose of looks. So, you have a couple of them here. And then this one, also, of course, by Lord Dacker, because it's the same ship. And I like this ship, because it's big, and it tends to fit in as, like, a command ship. Although, in reality, the Nebulon B frigate was a medical frigate, and that was pretty nice. And then this one I modified, I added the shield thingy, and so you could actually go through it. It's just water, but it's supposed to be a shield. You can see the docked X-Wing in here, credit to Garrett 2x4 for that design as well. And as you can see, there's villagers trying to escape. They're locked in there. And then... We have another Hammerhead Corvette. This one's orange, and I like this color. And like I said, there were three in Rebels. There was a red one, an orange one, and a yellow one. So I only built the red in orange. That's the same design, but I tend to like the look. It's kind of like a neon orange, but it looks good, and I think it fits well into this fleet. So, on our next ship down here, you can see... We actually have a GR-75 transport, and if you can't really recognize it, it's that it's supposed to be that ship in Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. The first transport is away. It's supposed to be that. You can see it in a lot of Star Wars video games. Yeah, it's a pretty nice ship, so this is all supposed to be cargo down here. And then, so this ship's credit goes to, or the design is by Garrett 2x4, built by myself. In the interior, as you can see, I just put some chests. There's not much room, but I could fit some chests in there. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little design. There's like a little bridge here. Obviously not accessible because it's just a couple of stairs. There are slabs and stairs down here. But 
it's a nice design and I like um, having a variety of ships in this fleet it makes it look better and then finally over here is another Corellian Corvette which I actually like this one it's this one um, it's blue so you can't really recognize it as the Tantra 4 which is seen in episode 4 um, and you hope so uh, this one I can show you the inside I like it um, it's designed by Lord Dacker and built by myself um, so, oops. um, this one, there's obviously not much room, but I made good use of the space. So, you can see back here is, like, storage, storage area back by the engines, which are actually back there. And then, right here, a couple of, well, three types of different furnaces. You have a crafting table over there. And then, over here, I don't like this design, because the beds actually fit into this little spot, and I put trap doors so it kind of hides it away so it looks pretty cool kind of a star wars design and here we got a couple villagers but we got some controls to the ship not as much as the other ones but i haven't even shown you the other ones because to be honest with you they aren't that realistic so i'd rather not show them um in this episode but i really like the x-wing dock in the back i think that's a really cool design but yeah guys that is the rebel fleet it took me a solid couple weeks to build because I've been doing other stuff and um because it was COVID-19 hopefully all you guys are safe and don't hoard all that toilet paper so um that is our fleet and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more ships or maybe you want me to walk through one of them specifically or even ask for a bigger fleet tell me or ask me anything more um descriptive or something specifically you want in the comment section subscribe if you want more of these and like i said if you want more star wars minecraft um let me know in the comments and please subscribe to see more of them if so so hopefully you guys enjoyed like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one